Would you believe it if I tell you that this system was traded in 1980s with hundreds of millions of dollars? And the system still traded today with multiple variations managing about $300 billion. It all started back in the 80s with Richard Dennis, a very successful trader, when he made a bet with Bill Eckhart that successful traders are made and are not born. The bet was advertised in Wall Street Journal where Richard Dennis asked for students from all kinds of backgrounds to apply to teach them the way of his methodology. Of course, spoiler alert, it is true that traders are made and not born. In fact, that's what I put in my newsletter at the end of 2022 to all the subscribers. Becoming a successful trader is a learnable skill and not luck or a talent. Everyone can learn it if they have the right education and the right mentality. And it is totally true. Me and all my successful colleagues, we were not born with this skill to be a profitable trader. You have to learn this skill. Of course, we wasted a lot of money and time and energy but you know, it depends on when you catch this mentor during your training journey. If you catch him early, then you are all good to go. And if you catch him late, then of course you have to lose money in the market because you don't know what you're doing. Now with me, it all started when somebody recommended a great book to me. And the book is this, The Complete Turtle Trader. In this book, Michael Covell goes about how the turtle traders, which is started by Richard Dennis, and how he trained students to become successful traders. In fact, he did it many times because it was so good. And out of all those students, many of them went on and launched their own hedge funds. In fact, some of them still trading the hedge funds till today. Some of them just retired. They made hundreds of millions of dollars for themselves and for the fund. Now, if you search online, you will find many books on the subject detailing the many variations of this successful strategy. Now you might say, well, probably the edge is gone. The edge will never go away because of very simple thing in this strategy. Trend following strategies are very hard psychologically to follow through because they have a very low win rate and they depend on high uh, profits from very small number of trades and they lose most of the other trades. So psychologically, it's very hard to implement, even though it's profitable. So I think it will never go away because most people cannot trade this kind of strategy. Also, to be successful, you need multiple markets, multiple iterations to trade the strategy. You cannot trade the strategy on a single market because if that market does not trend, then that's it, that strategy doesn't make money. Richard Dennis in the 80s taught his students two type of trend following strategies. They basically had two systems. One system was taking the breakout of 40 days and the other system was taking the breakout of a longer period. This is the gold futures on daily bars and the yellow line is the 40 day high and 40 day low. So 40 day high is the green one 40 day low is the red one. And you can see how the yellow flip between these two. And it flips when the price breaks it. So when the price go below the red line, so then the yellow line becomes our highest 40 day bars. And when the price breaks above the 40 day high, then the yellow line is switch to the red line, which becomes the 40 day low. And the strategy basically suggests that we buy when the price breaks the 40 day high and we sell short when the price breaks the 40 day low. So Richard Dennis added another high and low, but on a shorter period. So this is the 20 day high and low. And you see the, when we are long, the 20 day low represented by the green shade. And when we are short, the 20 day high represented by the red shading. So this is long entry. We will exit when it breaks. So we exit here and then here we have short entry and we exit here and then we wait for a breakout. So here is another breakdown. So we go short and then we exit here and it happens another time. We go short, we exit here 
we go long we we didn't exit so so far we are in and the strategy is extremely simple that's why it's called trend following because we are following the price pattern there is no expectation there is no forecast when the price makes a new high we ride that train and go long and when the price turn and goes down we exit and wait for a new signal so now we will program this strategy on an instrument that likes this type of strategy if you have watched the channel before you know what i mean by this because we need to match the strategy style to the instrument behavior so we know the energy sector tends to uh, work well with trend following so i'll try heating oil with this strategy this is heating oil futures and it's 180 minute bars so each bar represents three hours and i applied the strategy of 135 that means when the price breaks the high of 100 bars ago we will go long and we exit when it breaks the low of 35 bars also we will go short when the price breaks a hundred bar low and we will exit when the price breaks up 35 bars high there is no stop loss no profit target and the strategy performed really well so it made two hundred and seventy thousand dollars including commission and slippage so just to show you so this strategy because heating oil i put 35 dollars Pair share and contract so that means it's 70 dollars round trip and you can see we have long and short so we are making money on both sides this is the equity curve and trade analysis we have almost 50 50 split uh, long and short both of them are making really good money thousand on average on the long side 750 on average on the short side and the average profitability is 42 which is really good for a trend following strategy and periodical analysis we see we lost seven years out of about what is this 18 years so you might say you pick the best parameters 135 and i will show you now just an optimization of the whole thing but i just want to let you know that 40 and 20 still works if you trade a lot of markets even though it was published 40 years ago but the reality is there are more traders coming to the market so introducing more noise so the longer the breakout the better the strategy will perform nowadays okay so let's optimize the strategy so this is the long entry we will optimize it from 20 to 100 step 5 now don't worry about the code if you go to the website on the community page you can subscribe to the community and i just moved to a new community platform and you will find the code uh, shared here in the free shares so this doesn't mean going long and going short we will use both of these for long and for short so it's a symmetrical strategy so 20 to 100 step 5 to go long 5 to 35 step 5 to exit and same thing 20 to 100 step 5 will go short and 5 to 35 step 5 we will exit and now I added the profit target and stop loss and trailing stop. You might say, why 5,000 to 10,000? So if you are a student of my Algo Trading Masterclass, you have this sheet already. And you can see that heating oil, uh, that, by the way, this is why I put 35 as a uh, commission and slippage, because here it is, it's 65, so I put 70 and we can see that the average true range is about $3,300 and so 5,000 step 1,000 that's good and then the stop loss is 80% of 5,000 up to 140% in 15% steps and the trailing stop same thing 80% to 140% step 15% this way we can make sure that we are not hitting the profit target or the stop loss at the same time we are entering let's look at our optimization a multi charts loaded 10,000, and let's see so if we sort by net profit remember there are 75 dollars commission and slippage per trade so uh, the average trade is really good all of them 10,000 of them are profitable and not a little bit a lot the average trade uh, the lowest is 111 after commission and slippage uh, all the way to 773 dollars the best iteration making almost 300 thousand dollars 
and 43% profitable, almost $50,000 drawdown. And more than 5,000 of them above $195,000. So I picked this one, 135, with $8,000 profit target and 95% stop loss of the $8,000 and 140% trailing stop of the $8,000. And we get this performance, 289,000, uh, both uh, short and long. This is the equity curve trade analysis almost 50 50 for long and short which is really good and 500 dollars for short 930 dollars for long and this is the annual period so you can see how a simple strategy published more than 40 years ago traded by billions of dollars still performs till today. Which brings me to say this, that simple is always better than complicated. If you understand the strategy, it's a lot easier to do an optimization on it and to pick something stable within that optimization. I mean, you can see that 10,000 iterations are profitable and you can pick and choose any of them. In fact, you can pick many of them to put a portfolio only on this time frame. But we will build other time frames and combine it in a portfolio. And let me show you how. So now we are in the portfolio trader of multicharts. And now I am using instead of 180, I will use 120 and 240. So we're still in heating oil. We found out that 180 is profitable. That's good. Now I'm going down a little bit. So one hour less, that's 120. And one hour more, that's 240. And now you can see for 120 minutes, I picked a higher speed. So now it's a 40 day breakout and we exit at 15. And this is the uh, profit target, stop loss and trailing stop. And for the 240 minutes, I picked even faster. So 30 day breakout or 30 bar breakout and same 30 bar exit. And in between we have the profit target and stop loss and trailing stop. And if we backtest this, so now you see the two time frames, $582,000 profit. And the longs making a lot more than the shorts. But this is the huge difference now. Instead of having seven years of losses, now we have only three. So it's the same period, we're making more money, but now we are losing less because we combined a different time frame. So now we combined 120 and double the time frame, 240. So now I will add other time frames and other instruments. So this is the US 30 year bonds and this one, the gasoline RB. Both of them are, are on daily time frame and both of them are on slower speed. The 30 year bond is on 80 day breakout. Remember, this is now daily time frame and we're exiting on 15 uh, day breakdown, 5,000. Profit target now, this is related to the bond. So it depends on the average true range. And for gasoline, again, this depends on the average true range of the gasoline. So these are highly dependent on the instrument. And you need to know this so you can understand how to optimize. And now we are making 860. We doubled the uh, performance of the short side and we increased the long side. So let's see the trade analysis. Again, we are almost split in the middle, long and short, which is extremely good. The annual period, we're still losing the same three years, but of course now we are making much more money. And look at the correlation. So heating oil, this is 120 and 240, and of course they are correlated 0.66. But look at this, the 30 year bond, there is zero correlation basically which is really, really good. And the gasoline, even though it's part of the energy sector, it's only 0.2% correlation with the heating oil. So again, it's really, really good. And that's why you can achieve something like this, really huge profits and sloping up while you keep the drawdown to a minimum. The takeaway from this, of course, trend following really works. It works on multiple timeframes, multiple markets, and you need to trade it in a portfolio to make sense out of it. But the takeaway is combining the right strategy with the right instruments, that's one. Two is you need to combine multiple strategies, multiple styles, multiple timeframes, multiple instruments 
to make that equity curve as smooth as possible. And to learn more, make sure to watch these videos and I will see you there.